So friends, I have been using this HyperOS for quite some time, last one hour or something. So I have uh, tried to install few apps and uh, test basic things. So here the device that I have is uh, Redmi Note 12 and here uh, which I have is uh, Redmi Note uh, 11. So here it is running a HyperOS Android 13 based and here it is running a, a MIUI uh, Android 13 based again. So here I am using it and here I will be opening it here i would like to make a note here that uh, this one hyperos is not i don't think it is uh, directly from the xiaomi or something here uh, the fuzzo uh, developer have added a few customization here and there like this clock and all we don't know whether uh, i <laughs> exactly i don't know whether it is actually uh, hyperos or direct version they have added multiple things for example here i have uh, this uh cool uh notification bar which is as same as my ios and here uh, it is like uh, miua how it is looking you can uh, directly see the uh, difference so these and all may be uh, baked in uh, by the uh, developer and here again uh, the recent i have set it to the ios these option also uh, here if you see in miua it will go like this but here uh, it will be like this but actually there is a uh, dedicated setting in the uh, notification status bar not here uh, recent setting so how i did well uh, control center style okay so i searched recent and i got this one and i have set ios uh, style if you open uh, here i have uh, set uh, this one also if you set ios you can enable this so this ios uh, this and all will be uh, would be definitely will be added by the developer so i strongly believe that also uh, there are few things which i have uh, noticed uh, very interesting with hyper os it is more and more sm uh, smooth like uh, iphone i would say this is maybe overrated or thinking but the animation here is much more relaxed here this display is 90 hertz and here it is 120 so if i if i close here you can see it is some sort of uh, going uh, somewhere but here if you click and go it this one is automatically go inside this uh, particular thing and you can see this uh, cool uh, animation over here this works in uh, all this ma apps okay so this kind of option is almost uh, similar to the iOS. Maybe it is part of HyperOS or maybe it is also there in uh, MIUI. But I have uh, did some garbage things to change the theme and all. So I try to reset it but still it is showing some uh, themes uh, artifacts in here. So fully not sure but this is as smooth as it gets. Also the another thing that I found cool is this uh, camera app show me. Uh, camera app uh, i have took some uh, photos using uh, leica authenticate and uh, leica vibrant and the photos are uh, looking uh, good decent so the hardware level the note level is really really solid device but software whichever we got uh, miua along with this device indian version or something it is not uh, that capable uh, for camera as well as video recording but in this camera app uh, it is uh, taking some solid photos maybe some issue with the uh, edge detection but still i prefer i like this one also here we can uh, shoot uh, 1080 60 v uh, fps video if you turn off the hdr mode or something and the video is uh, actually good uh, yes, uh, there are, uh, if you move it more, there are shakiness uh, coming, but I would say it is uh, option is there. Also, you can shoot it in uh, uh, wide angle. So here I have tried to take it in uh, wide angle, which is again uh, uh, great. And when compared to this uh, camera apps, this is what you get it in uh, Xiaomi phone. And this is what you get it in uh, uh, Redmi phone both are may look same but uh, the customization wise uh, it is uh, totally have a lot of things uh, going on for example in here the camera app having the 1080 uh, 30 fps if i turn off this hdr you can have the 1080 30 fps and 60 fps option also you have the 8k if you set it camera may crash but this one here you can see uh, this is logged into uh, 1080 30 fps if you 
even though the processor capable this uh, 685 is still this is also 4g modem it is better than 680 and still uh, the default MIUI won't have that option so these are some of the option which is available and most of the features are working yes uh, there are few glitches here and there in the camera app but uh, it seems to be working i like this uh, flow how it is uh, uh, there which i really really like it is not fast but it is uh, smooth i would say and again i tried to uh, play video in youtube and the audio is actually fine uh, both the speakers and other things are uh, uh, working fine and uh, till uh, 1080p uh, 60 fps it just uh, goes the recent uh So, so the animation is actually uh, smooth i didn't play games on something and uh, battery backup and all i didn't check but google services wise uh, google uh, play store is working we have enabled that option when we are installing it so that option is working fine also uh, safety net wise i didn't fully check uh, so now we'll check yeah it is passed so apps should work banking apps but uh, i need uh, some time to check all the things so camera wise we have checked audio quality we have checked and when we talk about audio quality i have uh, tested the wired headphone it is working perfectly fine but when it comes to uh, wireless uh, the audio is little bit uh, less not little bit less much more or less half of the audio only coming so maybe some issues with that i don't know but uh, yeah uh, both are uh, working fine there are uh, other things uh, like the uh, in settings uh, we have the option to change the audio controls and we have the uh, double tap to uh, lock the lock feature double tap to open the feature even if it is there like this if you take means it is automatically uh, turning on which is uh, actually phase unlock also working fine so mostly this looks uh, really really promising i would say more than miui i liked this lot because as i'm using uh, ios as my uh, primary device uh, this one uh, feels much more like <laughs> uh, iphone also this wallpaper if you see uh, it is uh, dynamic uh, it is moving in the background like a parallax which you get it in iphone like if i do this i uh, total flow is uh, having this dynamic effect which i really really like also i have enabled this option here you can uh, have the uh, floating window and if i open here means you can see you have the floating window of the app i tried with the youtube but i'm unable to add youtube in here unfortunately so these and all some uh, great feature also we have a game mode uh, there are a lot of things uh, going on with this but i have to uh, check each and everything so but and all the basic things i have uh, checked wi-fi is working and i also did uh, calling it is working fine you have the miui uh, caller app uh, you by using that you can even uh, record the call uh, call you can record the call uh, without uh, notifying them so overall yeah it is actually good uh, so if you are using uh, redmi note 11 uh, if you ask whether you can go ahead and install still i don't uh, uh, what i would say appreciate to install this because it's port rom and it's very very in beta stage but if you want me to test this as my primary device and make a full review of it uh, you can let me know in the comment section if i get uh, 10 comments 20 likes i will probably make the review of this uh, particular rom in our uh, redmi note 11 so yeah, thank you for watching, Code Moto.